Hello and welcome to the Fixed Land, and welcome back to Brogue and Beer, where we play the fun roguelike brogue and enjoy a fine malted, fermented malt beverage. And what do we have today? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'll show it to you. We have uh, Brimley, Brimley Stout from Beard's Brewery. A fine oatmeal stout. Actually, I've never tried it. Um, it's probably too close. Oh, it'll focus. There we go. Brimley Stout. You can. I had a nice laugh when I saw this one. And uh, uh, anyway, if, if you're of a certain age, I don't have to explain that picture. But let's open it up and see how it is. And this is um, this one is six point two percent by volume, alcohol by volume. Wow! Again with the foam. I just took it out of the fridge, too. It uh, shouldn't be that warm, but it sure is foaming. That's okay. We'll let that settle a touch and uh, resume our game. So I, at the end of our last uh, game, I, I saved it, so it should just open up. Let's try. I've never actually done this open saved game. There it is. Okay, good. Here we are. Okay, we're in on level three or depth three, as it's called there. And so let's kind of review where we are here. We just defeated a rat, it looks like. And here we've got a cloud of explosive gas and several doors that we haven't ventured through quite yet. Uh, here's that's the staircase going up. Um, but we haven't found the down staircase yet, so let's just, let's review our inventory here. All right. Um, dagger, which we're, we've got equipped, we've got leather armor, a flail, which we are not using, right? Uh, yep, we're not using that. It's too heavy for us to use effectively. Uh, let's see, a lavender potion. I can use the, the keys here. Lavender potion, crimson potion, and a whole bunch of scrolls. We have no idea what any of them are. And I think the only way to figure out what they are is either to find something that will identify them or just to go ahead and use them and see what happens. Um, So that's what we have. We do have this key that didn't work. Uh, we found a key on level two, depth two, and uh, there was a locked door, but this key didn't work on that locked door. So let's take a try the beer here. So I haven't tried this one, as I said. Um, smells like a stout. Tastes like a stout. Has a little residual sweetness. I'm, I'm not a beer reviewer. I do brew beer. I brew my own, but um, I'm not a professional. <coughs> it's good. <laughs> no off flavors. Roasty, but not overly roasty. a nice amount of not, not too much sweetness just a little sweetness not super dry good nice nice beer all right well we will enjoy that as we proceed oh four sleeping jackals all right maybe we can 
takes them out with a dart while we while they sleep. And maybe that will uh Oh, don't we, I thought we had darts. Didn't we have a bunch of darts? <laughs> I we we did. We did have a bunch of darts where I'm not sure where they went. Does anyone remember? <laughs> oh boy. Um, huh. Well, I suppose we could just avoid them, get what we need. Oh, now they're hunting. Okay. Uh, let's grab this. Scroll. This this seems bad. Yeah, this is bad. Let's grab this. Um, oh, we may very well die. All right, let's see if we can flee. <laughs> Flee! Run away! Attack him in the doorway, maybe? Almost. Come on. There we go. Whew. All right. Well. <clears throat> oh, one jackal, one single jackal might not be too much of a challenge for them, obviously, is a challenge. Uh, so now we're fairly beat up, aren't we? I think I mentioned in the last video that, um, like a net hack, somehow I got into the habit of searching each, each, uh, tile of the wall, basically, multiple times to try to find a secret door, which was a tad tedious, but, um, so I honestly don't know if there are better ways to do the searching or what. We see a bloodwort stock. Where? Oh, it's way over here. Way across. No, that's blood. That's a pool of blood. Here it is. Okay. Which will help us heal, but we're already uh, about three quarters of the way healed up already. All right. Why don't we continue on our way? There's a goblin, a wandering goblin, where... Oh, it's way down here. Okay. Not an issue at the moment. Oh yeah, I guess we can see it. It's in our sight line. We see across the, the water. All right, that makes sense. All right, let's go in here. We got some food, that's good. Let me search. I, uh, search still hasn't found turned up anything for me, but we'll keep, we'll keep doing it. All right, now I don't, no, I don't think I've stepped into this caustic gas. Uh, I mean, it hasn't moved, it's been s uh, static, but if we step in, the smell of explosive swamp gas fills the air. I guess it's just, uh, did I say caustic? I'm not sure what I said. Explosive gas, so maybe it will explode if something happens. So there's the staircase. This is all full of the same gas here, but that's the way out. So maybe we'll just uh, maybe we'll just head that way. Search nothing. A paralysis trigger right here. That doesn't sound good, does it? Hmm. Ah. Hmm. You notice an inactive gas vent hidden in a crevice of the floor. Right, th right there below me, or to the south of me, I should say. All right, I don't think we want to step on the paralysis trigger. Uh, 
a dormant gas vent is connected to a reserve of paralytic gas. <clears throat> so I guess if we stepped on that uh, trigger, it would release the gas, and I don't, I don't think we want that to happen. Unless we could somehow use it to our advantage. A bloat, a flying bloat. All right, and this is a rickety rope bridge, huh? Cool over this chasm. So it's floating toward us. Why don't we, we don't have any more darts, right? I don't know what happened to the darts. Huh, I guess I, I just don't remember. Um, the other thing I'm, I'm unsure of is whether a lavender potion is always the same thing. And likewise, whether a scroll with particular name is always the same thing. You would, you would think it would be. That would make sense. Um, boy, those uh, darts were really nice to have, weren't they? And it's headed right our way. Search. A sleeping rat. Maybe we can sneak up on it. Oh, it's biting us already. An obsidian ring. Where might that be? Oh, way over here. Okay. It will reveal its secrets if worn for 1,500 turns. Well, a turn doesn't last long, does it? All right. Uh, so to get to it, though, we have to find a way that doesn't involve this water. So why don't we go down this way? Nothing in there. Here's the bloat. Uh, the bloat bursts. So we run and the gas overtakes us. And so we'll continue and the gas is still expanding with us. The goblin is sleeping. So let's just sneak in here and maybe we can Sneak down here without waking him. Okay. Another bloat. Wandering. I've noticed they can be, so far I've seen enemies sleeping, wandering, and hunting, and fleeing. Those have been the four states that I've noticed. All right, an indigo potion, okay. Search, nothing. Oh boy. Uh, okay, we got three, well, we got uh, three enemies all sleeping. You can, I guess I don't have to name them all, you can see the list there. Goblin, but I will anyway. <laughs> goblin, goblin conjurer, and a rat there's a scroll and we want the scroll. Can we possibly sneak by this goblin? I wonder if there's a way to sneak, a different command. Let's, let's just search for commands here. I haven't actually looked at this yet. Um, I mean, we can throw potions and we can throw anything, presumably. Uh, oh, capital Z, rest for a hundred turns or until something happens. <laughs> uh, Auto-explore. 
autopilot. Huh. Oops. Um, oh, I see. Press space or click to continue. Um, is that it? Was that? Is that all the commands? I guess so. All right, well, that keeps it simple, I guess. I mean, in NetHack, there's so many commands, it's a little overwhelming. Okay, here come the Gonjur, Gonjurer, the, the Goblin Conjurers. Uh, doohickeys, what are they? His Spectral Blades, that's it, the Spectral Blades. How could I forget? We grab, scroll, and flee. Just, just run, run away. Brave Sir Robin ran away. Oh, we're really getting, oh, we're, we're like surrounded. We are, so we can't, no, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> we're surrounded, they can surround us. They can move faster than us and they can surround us. So this may be the end, folks. We survived the crumbling passage over the chasm, but will we survive this? Can we sneak out? Can we kill the rat and sneak out that way? Uh, doesn't. All right, uh, we're gonna try a potion. What, let's say we try the lavender potion. Um, apply? Uh, not sure what happened. Fatal poison. There it is. <laughs> okay, that's not what we wanted. Did I drink a fatal poison? Uh, I'm not sure... Wasn't there a way to see more other commands? I mean, um, messages. Uh, display old messages, capital M. Oh my, okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. It must have been a potion of creeping death. So is this, what I don't know is, uh, am, I, am I hurting myself and the conjurer? I don't know. All right. I think we're gonna die no matter what. Um, you die, okay. The venomous barbs cover the quivering tendrils of this fast growing, it's lich, is it lichen? It's not lichen, right? Whatever it is, it's covered in venomous barbs. All right, we die, and there's our inventory. Ooh, I like the effect. Died from poison on depth four with 364 gold. Okay. Oh, here are the other brief games I tried out before I started this video series. Okay, space to continue. Uh, we don't need to save the recording. I mean, we're recording it ourselves. <laughs> All right, uh, escape. And new game. We try, try again. Okay. Here we are. Dense foliage, heading through some dense foliage, just taking a look around. Walking the parapet. Now, 
Surely there's a secret door over here, right? 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 Don't know. All right. This this game has a lot of uh, water. <laughs> All right. What do we have? A jackal and a rat. So we made it to depth four. We'll just say that's not too shabby for our first time. And a kobold. And we have darts again. All right. Okay. One dead jackal, one dead rat, one dead kobold. I'll just show you what happens if we step on here. Um, we release the bloodwort spores, which heals us, so that's nice. Didn't really need it, but um, I don't think we'll be needing it. But there is another one there we can use if, if we get into trouble on this level. Search. Just come down here, search. And this comes back to here, okay. Why don't we finish this direction? All right, a turquoise potion. Oh, and leather armor, nice. All right. Um, oh, we've got two of them. We've got one that we're wearing and one that... Hold on. Uh, I don't know what this three is. This three in brackets here. I think the 10 is the weight. Yeah, I think that's the weight. But I don't know what this three is. Does our armor rating change? Maybe that's the armor rating? Uh, so if we wear this armor, uh, our rating is one. Um, if we wear the other leather armor, Equip, our reading is one question mark. So I don't know. So why don't we just put on the other, the armor we had on in the first place. Okay, equip. Okay. And turquoise potion. And I think I will, the next time from now on, whenever I use a potion or a scroll, I'm going to make a note as to what it did, and we can see if they're always the same or if they change. So I believe that was a, a in the last game, it was a lavender potion that was um, the poison, right? So I'll make a note of that right now. And I will, I'll cut out any uh, super long pauses so you don't have to endure that. Okay, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got a jackal following us, we'll just see if he, and he is hunting us now. So we turn, we fight, because he's easy to kill. Why don't we head up this way? A pink potion, and a sleeping rat that we will dispatch. Search. All right, and how this looks like pretty shallow water, actually. So, yeah, so we can traverse that water. All right. Oh boy, a lot of water. Lots of water. I don't know if we'll be able to get over there unless we can levitate or something. Uh, 
So let's head back this way. And through here we've got lots more water, but we can head down this way actually. This is pretty shallow still. Well, it comes through our knees, that's as at least our inventory doesn't float away. Alright, and down here. And that's the exit there, but we have a lot more to explore this way. Rat. Dead rat. And I think we should be able to sneak through here with, through the shallow water. Yep. Okay. And how far can we get this way? Well, I think we can sneak through this shallower water to here and this way. Haha. -ha. Yes. And this just opens up to <laughs> to nothing. All right. <laughs> All right, let's head back down. And way over to the east, we've got a jackal and something up here. So let's head back down. Looks like explosive gas to me. What do you think? Yep. Explosive swamp gas. And an onyx ring. Well, we'll take that. And uh, we'll wear that. Equip. See what it says. Uh, okay, until you understand its secrets, it will function as a plus one ring. Uh, plus one armor, I guess. Oh, I see our armor is up to plus uh, three, so. Okay. All right. Very cool. Um, oh, you know what? We just went right by this door here. Oh, boy. A scroll entitled Lafanur Nuglo Pus. Some more swamp gas. That just goes that way. In here, nothing. Come up this way. Jackal, we can kill. And up here, not seeing anything. All right. Okay, why don't we head for the exit? I don't think we have to mess with that rat that's coming this way. We'll just. If he really wants to, to tangle with us, we'll allow him. Oops. Oh. <laughs> well, there was a kobold, but he's dead. All right. And down we go. All right. And another sip of... Wilfred here. Search, nothing. Rat, dead rat. Portinage, Ghana, 
and a tan potion. Gotta love those tan beverages. <clears throat> okay. Alright, is this a locked door? Yes. A locked door. Oh, man. And, uh, this is a statue. A cold marble statue has weathered the years with grace. This is what we encountered in the last game, a room, a carpeted room. This is all carpeting, this orange, these orange tiles. And then three staffs, very, very tempting and interesting. Wooden staffs. Uh, they gotta be good, they gotta be good. We gotta get in there somehow. Um, what do we have? I mean, maybe one of these things we're carrying is we'll unlock the door or somehow move the statue. Um, we surely can't bash the statue. All right, well, why don't we finish exploring? Maybe we'll find a key. They never knew it hit them. Oh boy. Uh, okay. A monkey. This calls for a dart. Throw the dart. Uh, throw. The dart hit the monkey for 25% damage. We'll try another one. Uh, dart throw at monkey and now he's on top of us so we'll whack him to death and the jackal as well and this jackal and probably can't run from the bloat but we'll try all right now we'll throw a dart at the bloat and maybe just let its gas disperse up there so throw dart at the bloat. It hit him, but he moved out of the way. There we go. Throw dart at bloat. There we go. Now run. <laughs> Fortunately, it's turn-based, so we don't have to feel rushed, but we do need to move out of the way. A sleeping kobold. Now entering the eternal sleep. A scroll and a lavender potion. Down there. Right there. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to make our way there. I see there's a bit of a chasm. Let me search here. The gas is still dispersing, so... All right. It's there. Just out of reach. Now it's not out of reach. Okay. All right, we picked up the Lavender Potion, which in the last game was poison. So we will find out if it's still poison eventually. And you can see way up here, is a war axe. Uh, it does have a penalty because of our inadequate strength. So our, our accuracy will go way down, but the damage would increase. Uh, so if we get over there, this is, a, this is a big chasm. So we'll try to get over there and, and pick it up. Um, but I don't know when we'll be able to use it effectively. All right, let's, the Stygian depths. Gold, I think that's the first gold this game. 
There's the down staircase. And so we searched, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Um back this way. How's the gas doing? <laughs> All right, we can pick it up. A sleeping goblin and a scroll entitled Flurks Flurks Flynn Lofa. Oh dear. The goblin skewers you. get into the hallway. <laughs> oh, they're after us. Crud. Alright, now let's throw a dart. One more. It's really... It's taking a lot of darts, isn't it? almost dead. We'll just tough it out. Just tough it out. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> okay. Oh, we picked up our darts. Okay. Good. And the scroll. Alright. And what's down here? Just the other edge of the chasm. I see gold. I see gold. Rocky rubble covers the ground. And just the edge of the chasm. Okay. Whoops. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't dive into the depths. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that double check. Um, oh, rat. Dead ahead. All right, let's head over here. And then we'll just see if, you know, if we can figure out a way to get into the room that away. So we'll just head that away. Caustic gas trap, and the bloat coming. Uh, can we throw a dart? I wonder if it'll... I wonder if it will go over... You know, if we can miss the blood wart and hit the bloat. Let's try. We hit the blood wart. <laughs> okay, so it... It, uh, it didn't work. I mean, that makes sense, I suppose. So the bloat hasn't, um... I wonder if we step in this caustic gas trap if it'll kill the bloat. Let's give it a try. The, the pressure plate clicks underneath you. Huh? Press split. Oh, there we go. A cloud of caustic gas sprays upward from the floor. And there it goes, and so we are running. We are <laughs> escaping. It's eating our flesh, and the bloat is still alive. And there's another bloat coming. Ah, rats. Uh, I think we're gonna head. Okay, that bloat died and burst. And maybe we can dart this other bloat. Yes, we did. Okay. Now we're just gonna. Head this away and we'll just wait it out. Just rest. Step out of the way. Rest and heal. 
There we go. Just taking a nice siesta. There we go. Okay, good. All right. All right, and we'll grab our dart. Search. A door key. Will it actually work? Let's find out. All right, we're going to step carefully around the edge of... No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't go that way. Okay. Uh, oh, we took the key off a, a gilded altar adorned with candles that flicker in the breeze. All right. So uh, I'm going to go up here and see if this key works on the door. We'll hope it works. No. <laughs> okay. Well, it was worth a try. Is there anything else that we missed? We have a key. Um, and a kobold who's just looking for trouble. All right. Um... Let's see. What if we... You know, that is pretty good, actually. Give you another look at it there. <laughs> I may just have to save that can. Let's try, maybe one of these will open the door, move the statue. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Let's try Poronuglo Pusflin, the scroll. Who knows what it'll do when read aloud? We're about to find out. Apply. Your pack glows with a cleansing light, but nothing happens. It must have been a scroll of remove curse. Okay. Okay, shall we try another one? That didn't, uh, we're just sort of shot in the dark here. Um, how about Lofanur Nuglopus J? Apply. Uh, this scroll has a map on it. It must have been a scroll of magic mapping. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so what is this? What did that do for us? Magic mapping. Yeah, we haven't been here. Um, I guess I don't know how to get there. There's a giant chasm. <laughs> um, okay, magic mapping. Okay, I'm taking notes on all these things. Uh, okay, let's try one more. And then if this doesn't work, we're going to move along. Um, how about... Portinage Ghana, which is K. Apply. It must have been a scroll of summon monsters. Great. The pit boat... The, <laughs> the pit bloat bursts, causing the floor underneath it to disappear. You plunge downward into the hole. Great. <laughs> summon monsters. Hmm. Well, if these do remain the same based on the name, then we are doing important research, right? Okay, we plunge downward. You are damaged by the fall. Well, 30%. But we've got four jackals, so I think we will run. And they're coming after us. We're going to 
stand here in the doorway and attack them, I guess. Yeah. You had no idea. A sleeping cobalt and a wandering cobalt somewhere. Oh, way down there. Waiting in the water. Okay. Alright, some knee deep water and oh boy, a goblin conjure. Okay, throw dart. We can attack these, um, actually. Don't throw the dart, we're gonna swipe at the spectral blades, because they're pretty easy to destroy. Now we'll throw a dart at the goblin. It hit him. Okay, until we destroy that, until we kill the goblin conjurer, his spectral blades will continue to come after us, so... I think they come in waves of four, maybe? Yeah. He's just staying there just out of reach, isn't he? Little bugger. Oh boy. We're feeling the damage here. Let's see if we can run. <laughs> run away, brave Sir Robin. All right, I guess we'll have to head back up there and see what we missed. All right, why don't we... Oh, we're hungry, okay. Uh, no, not equip, we want to eat. Eat some food. There we go. It tasted delicious. He's still coming after us. A scroll of summon monsters. Okay, so we know what it is. I see. I don't have to take these notes. <laughs> the game is smarter than me. So once I identify it, then it then I the game remembers what it is. I mean, it tells me what it is cuz I my game character remembers what it is. That's what I'm trying to say. We're just gonna square off against this spectral blade, I think. Nothing there. Did we go down here? I think so, yeah. Okay, cobalt. Search, nothing. Okay, we can wade through the water here. Um, I don't think we've... Have we found the downward staircase? I don't believe we have. There's a caustic gas trap, a rope bridge there and there, uh, and some food. Great. Grab the food. Cross the rickety rope bridge. Oh no. <laughs> Here comes a goblin. It's that same goblin. I assume. Alright, buddy. Say hello to my little friend. I missed him. Let's try that again. Throw dart. I missed again. Throw dart. Let's just try this one more time. One more time. Throw dart. That one hit him. I'm just gonna. Ugh. You and your darn blades. 
throw a dart. I missed. Oh, we're getting... We are... We're feeling the burn. We are feeling the burn. Run. Oh, no. No! No! Oh. <laughs> I guess I was feeling cocky about about this. Um <laughs> I don't know. Uh Nope, those blades keep nicking us. Uh gun it. I think we have to kill him, because if we do, his blades will disappear, so that's our only chance, I think. You die. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> We're dead. I love that. That's a great effect. Killed by a spectral blade on depth three with 213 gold. Oh, high scores, I see, that's what that is, okay. Oh, and the, the yellow highlighted is our most recently finished game, okay. Nope, don't need to do that. All right, well, this seems like a good place to wrap it up for today. Cheers, if I haven't said that yet. Thanks for joining me today, as always. I appreciate your company, and let me know down in the comments how you liked the video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.